Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video. So LR Majum Jita's featured banner, the last of the 5 OG LR featured banners for the 3 year anniversary, will be dropping tonight at 10.30pm Pacific Standard Time. Of course, if you live in a different time zone, then it will be a different time. Honestly, I originally wasn't going to make this video, but then after seeing so many people in my comments telling me they were excited for the banner, they were saving their stones for it, I was like, why not? My thinking with all my videos has always been, if it's going to help at least one person in some way, then it was worth the effort in making the video. Personally, I think that LR Maja Vegeta is an underrated LR. A lot of people give him the rep of being the worst summonable LR, which I don't think is the case. Um, you know, I kind of think of him as a jack of all trades. He doesn't hit as hard as LR Gohan or LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but he does hit very, very hard nonetheless, and he also doesn't clear enemy teams as easily as LR Broly, but he can still do it. As always, we're going over the unit, the banner, and the teams to help you decide whether or not you should spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones on this banner when it drops. Alright, so why don't we start with the unit itself. LR Majin Vegeta is the OG AGL LR leader. He gives all AGL units key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. His 12 key super causes mega colossal damage with a rare chance to stun. His 18 key super causes colossal damage, attacks all enemies, and also has a rare chance to stun. He basically has LR Broly super attacks but in reverse, and that's kind of the main issue. LR Broly is so great for world tournament because it's so easy to get his 12 key super off and attack all enemies, while for LR Majin Vegeta, it's really really hard to get that 18 key super off especially in World Tournament where you only have one leader skill active. His passive gives him a 150% attack boost upon supering, which means he'll hit very, very hard. And he's got some solid links with Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, over in a flash, shattering the limit. I know, no fierce battle, that kind of sucks. And Legendary Power. His categories are Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, and Pure Saiyans. Now we're going to move right along to the banner. Of course, I'm using the JP banner as reference, but the global banner will be very, very similar, if not identical. So on JP, the banner featured LR Majin Vegeta, Physical Super Buu, Tech Kid Buu, STR Good Buu, Int Vegito, Tech Angel Goku, Int Vegeta, STR Goku, Tech Vegito, Tech Super Buu, Tech Majin Vegeta, STR SSJ3 Goku, and 4 SRs. Like Broly's banner, this one actually has some pretty solid units. Physical Super Buu, Int and Tech Vegito, and STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku are all great subs for their respective teams. Nonetheless, this banner does not have nearly as much value as a regular Dokkan Fest banner, and you're probably going to feel empty unless you pull the LR. Last but not least, let's talk about LR Majin Vegeta's teams. His best fit is definitely on Resurrected Warriors linked with Tech SSJ3 Angel Goku. However, he's also fantastic on Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Extreme AGL, and Villains. And I could definitely make an argument for him to take an optimal spot on each and every one of those teams. Alright, so we've gone over the unit, the banner, and the teams. But before I make my recommendation, I want to preface it by saying that LR Majin Vegeta is a fantastic unit that doesn't get as much love as he deserves. With that being said, I'm gonna have to say that this is a skip or a do not summon for most people, mainly because there are so many great banners on the horizon that I don't think this would be the best use of your Dragon Stones. If all you want to do is chase LRs and aren't specifically hunting for LR Majin Vegeta, then the LR Beerus Double Rates banner, which is probably going to be here in about 1-2 to two months, is the best place to do that. But all of this is just my personal opinion. The ultimate decision is still up to you. The reason I do an analysis like this is so that you can decide for yourself whether or not it's worth it. But that's all from me. I hope you found the video helpful. And best of luck to everyone who will be summoning for LR Majin Vegeta. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.